Well, we are learning more tonight about a wild car chase that spanned several cities before ending in Cranston. It unfolded yesterday afternoon, finally coming to a stop near the Parkview Middle School, where police arrested the suspect. Well, today, investigators recalled the dangerous situation to a judge. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom with what he's learned. Yes, we're here in Cranston, Steve, where this dead end street here did the trick. The police say it forced a man's dangerous escape from Pawtucket quite literally into a dead end. Tire tracks mark the spot here in Cranston where the police got their guy. It started yesterday afternoon on East Avenue in Pawtucket. The police say 18-year-old Joshua Mercado was driving a stolen car, got into a hit-and-run accident and took off. As a Pawtucket police officer on foot tried to stop the vehicle, the police say Joshua Mercado drove onto the sidewalk directly at the police officer. The officer managed to dodge the vehicle and to fire his gun at it as it sped away on Route 95 South. It turned out the vehicle was struck, but not Joshua Mercado, and the officer then called off the chase. En route to Cranston, the police say Joshua Mercado hit three more vehicles. The vehicle uh, did not stop for the officers. The vehicle continued to drive recklessly through the city, struck um, three vehicles, one of which is a, was a school bus which did have children on it. In the end, Joshua Mercado got trapped on a dead-end street, Arcadia Street, where he was arrested after a short foot chase. With the, the school right over there and kids in the neighborhood, you know, thank God none of them were out and none, none of them got hurt. Then it would have, really would have been a tragedy then. The police say Joshua Mercado also forced a police cruiser here in Cranston off the road. That's new at 6. Live in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.